What's up everybody? I'm excited. I'm excited. And why am I excited? Because this is shirt number 10, you guys. Shirt number 10. That means there's only 90 more to go, which means there's only nine more weeks to go. When I think of it like that, it makes it seem like it's a shorter amount of time, guys. So bear, you know, there's a method to my madness. And honestly, that's the way numbers work. Uh, it's not that much if you think of it now that I'm breaking it down. I'm just going to get straight into the video, but why don't we roll the intro? Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Eight, 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 productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. You ready? Wait a minute. And on this one, once again, we got this large platen. Once I find out what you guys like, which is the large platen, I like the large platen. If I was buying a shirt, right, I would want the shirt to take up as much real estate as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, if you have one of these machines or if you're considering getting one of these machines, you might as well add the large platen to your list. There's a little lump right there, so I'm trying to smooth it out, guys. I saw. I'm doing right here. Um, it's still it's still there, just a minor protrusion, but I'm gonna see if the shirt goes in. Let me go ahead and pick the design. I'm not gonna show you guys this time though. Make sure I got the right one. Crossing our fingers to hope this thing goes in. Table might be too high because of that little protrusion right there. Yep, obstruction. Obstacle detected. Let's bring this back out and let's try to smooth that out just a little bit more. I like the height that it is. I might have to press it real fast. Let me press this out. Sometimes you gotta do that. I'm gonna press this wrinkle out and we should be good to go. It was a little wrinkle right here that just won't lay down. So I'm just gonna press it out real fast. Just hit it off one time. And I am still protecting my shirt because it has that pre-treat on it. I don't know if that matters or not, but... Oh, yeah. are we hovering? Yeah, we hovering right now. Gotta get some clamp down on that. Gotta get some pressure to press out that... Uh, that little thing. Yeah, there we go. We got the presser on it. And we don't even have to hit it off for a long time. We just got to, you know, press it good enough to get it nice and flat. Boom. Nice and flat. We good to go. Let's put it back on our machine. Back over here now. Oh, that's way better. See? I'm giving you guys some tips and some tricks here. And guys, this weekend, over the weekend, we are going to work with some other people to try to figure out the situation that we have as far as the machine not printing out regular black um, regular black stuff that don't need an underbase or regular whatever it is that don't need the white underbase oh yeah this is perfectly flat we're good to go now watch what happens this time when I put it in it's gonna go straight in watch this and I didn't even adjust the tape watch this see that just a little tiny teeny tiny bump can make the difference <laughs> this thing is really sensitive but like i said the print head needs to be as close to the shirt as possible so you can get a nice clean print all right let's look at it while it's printing this time you can never really see really good what's going on or how it's printing because this the, the camera just can't seem to get it good enough i don't know let me lower down the iso and see if that helps i don't know if you guys can see that white under base let me know in the comments if you see that white under base and the Rico RI1000 doing its thing. Guys, if you want this shirt or any of the shirts that I've made on the channel, go ahead to alanaway.com. That's alanaway.com and purchase your shirt today. Um, this, this design is kind of far down. I should have uh, put it up a little bit higher, but for the main part, the type of design that it is, the placement is pretty good. So let me talk to you guys for a second. Design is looking interesting. We're gonna see how it comes out. I'm not sure how this one's gonna come out. Uh, could be because of pre-treat, could be because the print heads need to be cleaned out, but we're gonna see. That didn't look exactly crispy like I like it to look, but we got 9% white, so I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it's supposed to look like that. But guys, I'm gonna talk to you guys real fast like you guys are my children, right? Because we're family here, and a lot of the times when, when I'm teaching stuff, I kind of teach it like you guys are my children, right? So. Just like some of you guys have children at home, right? You give your children information and teach them in ways that might not be the way they want to learn it. Or might, you might not tell them the things that they necessarily want to know the way they want to know it. But you will tell them 
in a way that you feel is the most beneficial for them, right? And that's the way that I do things here on the channel, right? And I bring up that analogy because a lot of people, a lot of times, um, enough is never enough. You know what I'm saying? Enough is never enough. And the more you give, the more people want. And it's a whole bunch that goes along to it. I'm not going to get too much into it, guys, today. But I'm sure on other videos I will elaborate more on this topic. But enough is never enough. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Does it seem to you like... And I won't say everybody, but I'll say the world in general. And this is not directed to, to you guys or direct to anybody. There's no malice involved in this. But I'm just asking a general question in general. And, and I want to know what people think. Does it seem like people don't appreciate free? Just just hypo, a hypothetical or, or, or what that, whatever you want to word it, whatever type of question. Does it seem like, say like you want something from the store, right? something real nice like a pair of designer whatever right and that thing has a price tag on it does it seem like if somebody gave it to you or not you per se or somebody does it seem like if you got something for free right you don't value it as much as if you would have paid for it is that a real thing or is it just just me in the way I think or am I, am I weird like let me know let me know this is honest, honest to God question. No, not directing it towards anybody. It's just something that I've always thought. Over, well, over the years, I've observed certain things. And it seems to me like people don't value. Like it could be the same thing that you would have paid for, but you can get it for free. But for whatever reason, psychologically, you don't appreciate it as much because it was free. Is that is that a thing or is or is that me? And, it's not directed towards anything. I'm just, just asking a general question because um, I, I find it fascinating how the mind works. And if we can figure out how the mind works together, then maybe we can make sense out of things, right? So, and why is that? If you agree with me, why is that? You know, just, just, just you know, just something I'm thinking. All right, so let's look at this print. Very good print, guys. Very good print as usual. I can tell right now, and this is for informational purposes only, I can tell right now that uh, it seems like, unless that's part of the image, I'm gonna have to examine my image a little closer, but it seems like right here, there's some lines going this way. Um, I'm not gonna call, maybe I, I call it banding, but there's some lines going this way, just on this part right here, which means that I'm gonna clean my print heads and I'm also going to clean my, um, my uh, encoder strip, encoder strip. So I'm gonna clean my encoder strip and I'm going to clean my print heads and that should get rid of that if that is a thing, which I think it is. But overall, the print looks great. It looks phenomenal. It looks very vibrant as they all do. So we're gonna go ahead with this and I'm gonna put it on. And this part right here especially looks really, really good. Let me get you guys a better view. So of course, this shirt right here, just to remind you guys, I don't know if I said it already, it's available on alanaway.com. This one right here, I like it. I've washed this about four or five times right now and um, it looks good. Right here, I do notice um, a little bit of cracking in the, in, the, in the print, to be honest with you guys. Could be because of pre-treat, I don't know. Could be a number of reasons because you guys know I am using the Wagner spray gun. So that's reason to be concerned, to be honest with you guys. I'm gonna look more into that. And you know, now that we have that Wagner spray gun, we can see if we get better results, so forth and so on, guys. So let's go ahead and press this down. I, I like to hover first, but with this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and press it and we can put it on and we can go ahead and we can do the, uh, the show you, the show you part of the video. Another thing I will say about this shirt right here, right? This is one of the very first shirts that I did um, on the RI-1000. You could even see right here, I had some banding going through the hat, um, but I did like three of these. So um, to my defense and to the Prince defense, but maybe that had something to do with it. Maybe the fact that I didn't lay it out pre cheap I was, you know, I'm still new to the whole situation, but let me know how you think, how this shirt came out, guys. I think it looks good as usual. Let me look at my phone because I have the image right here in my phone so I can see what I'm looking at, what you guys are looking at. 
Let me pull my mic in a little bit. Look at that. So um, I think it looks good. It's wearable. It's not it's not as dope as the other shirt, as yesterday's shirt. I'll tell you that much. But it is unique. And it is always an awesome thing when you can go downstairs and just make your own shirt. I won't say make your own shirt because a lot of some people get, I won't say a lot, some people get annoyed when I say that because I'm not making a shirt, I'm decorating an existing shirt. So we're decorating garments here, guys. So as always, if you're interested in anything that I make videos on, use my affiliate links down in the description below. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, follow me on um, TikTok, follow me on Facebook. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video. If you want to grab the shirt, alanaway.com. Grab the shirt right now. Use code BOGO for 20% off of your entire purchase of $100 or more when you're shopping for the t-shirts, the merch. All right. All right. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Real quick video, right? Talk to you guys on the next one. Peace. Turn up that. Crank it up. While I listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby. Like this, like this.